we'll talk about the hepatobiliary phase. Recall that there is a sinusoidal membrane here. The portion of the hepatocyte adjacent to the sinusoid and the canalicular side here, the portion which goes to the bile canaliculi and then to the biliary ducts. So let's focus our attention here. Again, recall that uh, in a normal hepatocyte, imaging at the 20-minute delayed phase, or hepatobiliary phase, will show that liver-specific contrast is mostly within the hepatocytes and in the biliary ducts. Hence, it's called the hepatobiliary phase. Hepato, because of the hepatocytes, and biliary, because they're in the biliary ducts. Now, how does the contrast travel from the sinusoid and into the uh, biliary tree. Now let's take, take a look at this diagram. For a cell to be bright on the hepatobiliary phase, it requires that this transporter is present in the sinusoidal membrane. We're going to call this uh, transporter O, which is uh, short for this uh, longer name. And for the contrast to be excreted into the biliary ducts, it requires that um, there is another transporter in the canalicular membrane. And we will call this uh, transporter M. So it will pass here and go to the small bile canals here. So what happens in HCC? In most HCCs, the tumor does not have this O transporter. So can you guess what will happen during the hepatobiliary phase? Will it be hyper or hypointense? If you guess that it will likely be hypointense in this phase, you are correct. Because of the absence of this transporter, the con the contrast won't be able to enter the hepatocyte and hence into the biliary tree. Um, this is helpful because early HCC may not exhibit the characteristic arterial hyper enhancement and washout. So performing this phase, hepatobiliary phase, can suggest the diagnosis. Um, aside from uh, hep hepatocellular carcinoma, this is also the appearance of uh, most Hepatic adenomas, they also have poor expression of the O-transporters. Hence, it will also be hypo-intense in the hepatobiliary phase. So how can, we tell apart? how can we tell them apart? So you just need to review the history and review the images in the dynamic phases. How about um, FNH? So FNH is just a bunch of benign hepatocytes. So there are hepatocytes um, which um, proliferate due to a pre-existing vascular malformation. Since there are hepatocytes, you have you will have your O and M transporters. It also has biliary canaliculi. But this biliary canaliculi do not connect with the biliary tree. Now, can you guess what will be its appearance of the hepatobiliary phase? Okay. So the answer is that FNH will show enhancement in the hepatobiliary phase. It will be similar to or more than the liver parenchyma. So now that we have a background, let's try to predict the appearance of other lesions on the hepatobiliary phase. First, hemangioma. Hemangioma has no hepatocytes, so therefore hypo-intense on the hepatobiliary phase. Metastasis. Um, also no hepatocytes, so hypo. Cholangiocarcinoma, also no hepatocytes, so hypo. So, so far, FNH is the only lesion we discussed that can be hyperintense on the hepatobiliary phase. That's great. But if only it were that easy, we have some exceptions. 